Welcome to The Anxiety Cure. If you're going through a challenging time, you might be tempted to think and talk about what's bothering you a lot throughout your day. Maybe even obsessively. Well, I'd like you to stop thinking and talking about your problems in a random way. And instead, I want you to schedule a worry appointment for yourself, which is about 10 to 30 minutes long at one specified time of the day. I call this shrinking negativity into nuggativity. For example, you can pick 5 p.m. and make that your chosen time to worry for, give yourself, I don't know, 15 minutes. If a worry enters your mind at 11 a.m., you can write it down for later for your 5 p.m. appointment, but you can't think about it in that moment. Instead, you have to refocus your thoughts back to the present. By doing this, you'll be training your brain to think that worry is not that important. Worry is not an urgent thing. You can do worrying later. It devalues worry. Best of all, a lot of people who schedule worry appointments wind up later forgetting about their worry appointments or not wanting to use this time to worry. Best of all, this concept to schedule a worry appointment is research-backed to be effective at reducing anxiety via Penn State University researchers. In fact, in this study on setting up worry appointments, the researchers created a specific four-step process to help seriously stressed out people to take control of their anxieties. Step one, you have to identify the object of worry. Step two, you have to identify a time and a place that you decide that you're going to be thinking about your worry. Set a worry appointment. Step three, if you catch yourself worrying about this particular worry, at a time other than your chosen worry appointment, you must purposefully force yourself to return to the present moment. Think about something else. Step four, when your worry appointment time comes around, you have to use this time productively. Focus on what you can control, not what you can't control, and brainstorm solutions to your worries. I recommend that you schedule your worry appointment for as late as possible in your day because then you'll be training your brain to get stronger and stronger at avoiding indulging in worry. Plus, the longer you can delay your worry appointment, the more likely you're going to say a big fat nope to actually doing your worry appointment when the time comes around. 